Hi guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and welcome back. So fall is around the corner and it's time for me to start sowing some fall crop. It's been really warm here. That's why I'm kind of hold off on sowing some fall crop and plus, as you guys see on the back, all the vegetables, all my summer crop are still doing so well and produce a lot of, a lot of fruits. Uh, back there is my eggplants and my peppers and that's why it's just so hard for me to just pull them all out and replace with something new. But So for this fall, I'm not going to sow a lot of uh, the seeds because one thing, it's still too warm and it's hard to keep my seedling in the greenhouse. And if you follow me for a while, you know that I don't have like a growing station or a grow light that I can keep my seedling indoor. So I will sow all of my seeds and then we'll keep it underneath the patio. And another thing is I always can drop by the industry and looking for new seedling, something that I don't have to seed. I normally sow more at the end of fall, you know, throughout winter and spring because I do a succession plan. So if you new to the word succession plan, so succession plan, which means you are continuously to sow the seed every three weeks to one month. So for example, like I transplant my first round of bok choy. I start to sow bok choy seed for the second round. So in the next three weeks or one month, when I harvest my first round, I have the seedling that ready to transplant right away. And I continue to do this throughout the season. All right, so let's get started. I put my gloves on. I love to use latex gloves because I can feel my hand and it's so easy to handle the seed because the seeds are so small. So this round, I'm using a good quality uh, potting mix. As you guys can see, the texture of the soil are really smooth. No big chunk of wood, uh, wood chip or anything. It's really smooth, contains a lot of cocoa core. You can use uh, the seed starter mix uh, that you can get from the store or you can mix your own starters. For me, it's so easy. I'm just going to use this potting mix since I already have a lot on hand. And I like to pre-moist the soil because uh, it's contain a lot of cocoa core and you know cocoa core when you water, it will float. If you not pre-moist the soil, when you sow the seed, the seed gonna when you water the seed gonna float so pre moist not soak so when you squeeze the soil the soil kind of form into that ball so which means it's ready make sure there's no water like dripping when you squeeze the soil and i'm going to use the tray uh, that i have and this is the seed starting tray from vigo garden i love the tray so much they have two different sizes this one has four cell, but it's bigger, so I'm going to sow brassica in this four cell, uh, so I don't have to transplant. Uh, for this egg cell right here, uh, I'm going to sow some of the greens, such as bok choy and uh, nagasaki. And this tray is really, really sturdy. Heavy duty, you can step on it, it's not going to break. And I love that they come with the dorm, uh, with the cover, the lid. And this one is almost like the individual greenhouse for your seed tray. Uh, and they also have a dripper. Let me show you. Uh, so the lid that they designed has a dripper. As you guys can see, the hole in the middle of the dorm. Those, when you water in there, the water will drip uh, into the cell, the, seed, the, the tray, which is really cool. And then I'm using this black tray right here. This one is also really good as well. I ordered from Amazon a set with the 10 tray. It's only, I think around $30, but it's really sturdy. And I'm going to use that black tray to keep all the seedling tray. So I'm going to sew brassica for today. And I will using the uh, four cell because this one is bigger uh, and I don't have to transplant my seedling later on. So when you fill in the soil in the tray, make sure you press down a little bit to eliminate all the air bubble, but not to pack.
All right, so these are the seeds that I'm going to sow today. I have different varieties of cauliflowers and broccolis. As you guys know that I love colorful vegetable. And all of these seeds are brand new seed that I just ordered this season. Uh, and I got a couple of cabbages. I got the white one, which is really big for this variety. And also the purple one. All the seed I got from Baker Creek Seed. And I also got a couple new varieties of uh, kurabi. So kurabi, if you guys like broccoli stem, you will like kurabi. Kurabi is so delicious. It's so good in soup. And I love to make kurabi lav, kurabi salad. I have three different varieties, so I'm going to sow them as well. And based on my experience about cabbage, growing in fall throughout winter, the cabbage produce bigger heads and a lot more healthy. Since we live in Southern California, spring through summer is really warm, so most of my cabbage never form head. So that's why this season I will grow it in fall um, and throughout winter. And this is the label. So for labels, you guys, you want to save a lot of money, try to find your kids folder or you go to a Dollar Tree or Dollar General, Dollar Stores, uh, getting the plastic folder and then you cut it into a strip like this. And just one folder, it lasts me for a couple seasons. Uh, and it's so easy to just stick that uh, uh, inside the, the tray. Okay, so this is the first tray in all of the four cell tray. So this is a bigger tray and I'm going to sew all the brassica. Krabi also part of the brassica family. Brassica family including like uh, cabbages, uh, cauliflowers, broccolis, those are brassica. So first uh, I have to write down the tag, write down the name. Because uh, I have to step up with my, uh, you know, name tag game because I always, you know, end up missing the tag all the time. And when you guys asking me what variety of, you know, the crops, I just, you know, have no answer for you guys. So right now, I'm like really good at, you know, putting the tag. So I label the tag first so I won't forget. And then I'm using... um. The chopstick to just uh making a tiny hole so for cabbages i will maybe make uh just one a couple holes uh or one hole in the middle and then i will put a couple seeds um, i don't use a lot of seed because i don't want to waste seed i only put a couple seed in each row and then i can thin down later Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention about planting the seed. You don't want to plant your seed too too deep because otherwise your seed will never going to germinate it. So I planted about, I would say about an inch deep. Uh, and then I patching the soil uh, lightly on the top. Uh, and for watering, I water lightly on the top for the first time. And then I keep watering from the bottom. But when the seeds are germinated, you need to slow down on water because too much water, too much moisture can cause root rot and your seedling will be end up die. And you don't want your hard work to waste and also you're going to waste the seed as well. So watch out on the soil after the seed germinated.
Alright guys, so an update on the seedling. So this is day 5 and almost all my seedlings are germinated. This is crazy. So last fall, my brassica, my uh, cauliflowers and broccoli took about 7 to 10 days to germinate. And I don't know why. Uh, and this is start to germinate day 3. But I'm showing you guys right now, it's day 5. The leaf is start to get greener and open up bigger. Uh, and also, can you can see that there's multiple seedling in one cell. I will thin them down later. Uh, I want to keep only one seedling per cell, uh, you know, for uh, so they don't have to fight for the nutrient. And if you guys look at the dorm, there's a lot of humidity build up. Just like I said, you know, for in the beginning of the video that this is like the individual greenhouse for your seedling tray. I think this is probably the reason why my seedling germinated faster than last season because last uh, fall I'm using uh, the tray that I bought from Home Depot. But this is the tray that I got from Vigo which is they germinated faster. And I love it a lot. This is Nagasaki. Look at that. And I love it. And I, it's been so hot the past few days, the past weeks, I will say. Uh, hot and humid. So I didn't keep my seedling in the greenhouse because greenhouse always overheated. And as you guys see the bottom tray, I water from the bottom and I also water lightly on the top. I put the water, uh, water is in here and there's a water dripper because there's a tiny hole uh, in the dorm and then the water just dripping. And I put my seedling tray on the shelf in front of my kitchen window underneath the patio and they are germinated just fine no greenhouse no heat mat nothing uh just just put like that in front of my kitchen window all right guys so that's it for today video i hope you enjoy and learn something new today and if you have any questions at all about sowing seed you can leave your comment uh in the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching.